Well, hi friends, Rick Bray with the Plick team at Broom Tiger Bosies, and I'd like to show you uh, two different ways to add a co-host to a Zoom call. Now, one way is directly in the meeting, and in this, uh, for this method to work, the other person has to be in the call. So you'll see uh, when I click on the bottom, participants, I happen to have another teacher here. Now, I can make them a co-host, or I can make them a full host. There's slight differences between the two, but all I need to do is hover over their name, click on more, and select either make them the host or make them the co-host. Again, there are slight differences between the two, and maybe that'll be a subsequent video. But if I make this other teacher a co-host, uh, they will get a notification that they have been made the host, and at this point, I can leave this call altogether. I can say end, and I just wanna say leave meeting. If I end the meeting for all, it's gonna end the call. But if I leave the meeting, that's gonna make the other, there they are, the other teacher, the host, and I can come back to this meeting later if I want, or I can just be done with it and they can take control over it. So that is how I can make another uh, participant on the call a host during the call. There is another option, and let's flip over to the Zoom website to see that. Now the first thing that I should really bring up here is that in our region, the schools that are using uh, district-issued Zoom accounts, you wanna make sure that you're logging into Zoom with My Apps. That way you're using your licensed account. Otherwise, there could be some issues with that. So to make an, uh, another host before the meeting starts, what I wanna do is go down to the bottom of my meeting where it says alternate hosts. And I can type in the email address of the person I want to be an alternate host. So in this case, I'm gonna pick my colleague, Emily Koval. There she is. If I wanted to add multiple, I can by just entering in a comma and then entering in all the email addresses that I want to be alternative hosts. Now, uh, let's show you, for example, what happens if it's not right. If I put in rbray at me.steer.org, when I hit save, it's giving me this message that they are not a user in our Zoom account. So that means either you are not using a district issued license or the other teacher you put in is not using a district issued license. And I would encourage you to file a ServiceNow ticket or submit a ServiceNow ticket with both teachers' names so they can see who isn't using the license and get that resolved for you as soon as possible. But it sh otherwise it will go through and they'll be added as an alternate host. Now, what does it mean to be an alternate host? Well, an alternate host is someone else other than the person who created the meeting. My hair's going crazy, it's Friday, what can I say? Uh, but they have the ability to start the meeting and they'll get an email, much like the one you see here, where it says they've been notified of being an alternate host and they can start the meeting. So that's a helpful thing to have if, for example, you're unable to start the meeting for some reason. Also, they are automatically a co-host. So instead of having to make that person a co-host every single time you have a meeting, by making them an alternate host, they're automatically placed as a co-host in your Zoom call. So one thing I do wanna show is uh, I talked about here when you're making the meeting that you can add an alternate host. You can also go into an upcoming meeting that you have, maybe this one, and say edit, and at the bottom, I can add an alternate host there. Uh, it was there, I swear, there it is. So my point for showing you that is uh, you can add an alternate host to a meeting that you already have scheduled. But there you have it. That's how you can add an alternate host uh, before a meeting or make someone a co-host while you are in the meeting with them at that time live. I hope this helped answer some questions. If not, or if you have other questions, please feel free to reach out to Emily or myself. And uh, thank you for all your hard work. And as always, thanks for watching.